If you have Hulu, get ready to make, pay more per month starting in two weeks. On October the 8th, Hulu will raise the price for both of its on-demand plans by $1. Now that might not seem like a lot, but it can all add up. And there are so many streaming services. How do you prioritize it all without blowing your budget? It's today's Don't Waste Your Money report. What you binge watching these days? Ted Lasso Welcome Wagon has arrived. Ted. There's Ted Lasso on Apple TV Plus. Welcome to Tranquilum House. Nine Perfect Strangers on Hulu. You made a terrible mistake. Let him come home. Clickbait on Netflix, just to name a few. How do you prioritize your streaming and save money? First, bundle services. Do you have a sweet bundle? Yes, I do. What you got? I got ESPN, Disney Plus, Hulu. Stars. Cora Hamilton of Detroit says Disney Plus is the most popular streaming service in her home and alone that would be $7.99 per month. But she opted for the Disney Bundle, which offers Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, and the Hulu plan you select. So overall, you spend on streaming services per month how much? $19.99. That's it. That's it. Which brings us to our next tip. Select ad-based plans. The Disney bundle with ad supported Hulu is $13.99 per month, $6 less than the Disney bundle with no ads on Hulu. HBO Max with ads is only $9.99 per month. Viacom CBS just unveiled a Paramount Plus and Showtime streaming bundle starting at $9.99 per month. Do you have any streaming services that have no ads or some with ads? Um, Netflix does not have ads on that one. Everything yeah. else does. Tamika Thomas of Detroit has ad supported HBO, Showtime and Hulu, and she also decided to trade off on free deals. If I know that it's a period in time where there's nothing I want to see, I'll probably just cancel it for that period of time. Gotcha. <laughs> Most subscriptions allow you to cancel without a penalty. Apple TV Plus offers a seven day free trial and then it's $4.99 per month or you can get three months free when you buy an eligible Apple device. On that note, check for carrier deals. How do you prioritize your streaming services? Um, based on the needs of the household. Ilana Arrington of Oak Park has two teen girls and they have a deal through their mobile plan. Metro by T-Mobile Amazon Prime members get not only free delivery, but also streaming of movies, TV shows, and Amazon Originals. And now, T-Mobile's also offering Apple TV Plus for one year through a promotional code, which expires July 31st of 2022. Another option, cut down on resolution. If you mainly watch on mobile devices or don't want to hit your internet data caps, Netflix, for example, has a basic tier for $8.99 a month. If you're in school, search for student discounts. College students can get Hulu for just $1.99 per month, a 65% discount. Everybody needs a study break now and then to binge watch, right? Another tip, avoid paying for extras such as live TV. You can always invest in a digital TV antenna to pick up your local channels for free or download free apps from your favorite station. You can also scout for services that have on-demand pricing for live events. If you're really into sports, Fubo TV, for example, is a place where you can watch Big Ten football. It has a seven day free trial. And of course, we, you know, we have a lot of college football fans here in Michigan. <laughs> That's an option for you. Yeah, not to plug our own station, but I'm going to plug our own station. Do go for it, Alan. I, I download our Seven Action News app and I watch the news for free. I don't need cable. I don't need ABC right. because, you know, I do it that way. It's so. a free app to download. Nice plug. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. I'm for just going to flip that in real quick there for you guys. <laughs>